for those who aren't maybe fully aware, just tell us exactly what it is you're going to be doing. I'm, I'm the, uh, the, the, the under 18s um, professional development coach, which is um, alongside uh, Jimmy Shan, it's helping to run the, uh, the under 18s, so the, the youth team players from 16, 17, 18, 19 upwards. Uh, I'll be helping to run and, and working alongside them and, and seeing them develop as young men and young pros and hopefully giving them the vehicle and the tools to progress into the first team and, and uh, come, become well established and, and great players for uh, West Bromwich Albion uh, Football Club in many seasons to come. So that's my role to develop them and uh, over the course of the season. So really looking forward to it. That must be exciting, I mean, especially with some of the talent we've got coming through. I mean, you've seen uh, some of the lads pushing through and going out on loan to championship clubs, League mm. One clubs, and, and really making their mark. So, obviously, the development is there at the moment. Yep, the development's there, you know, right from, um, you know, the academy, right the way through up. The, you know, there's a clear um, philosophy and the development's there, and it shows that the, um, the talent that's coming through, and I believe that the talent that I've got, uh, a very, very gifted bunch. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to um, working with them, but um, getting to know them individually and personally, really. Uh, and, and obviously, most importantly, just trying to uh, give them whatever experiences I've had over the, the many, many seasons I've played in the game, trying to give them that at a, a young age, you know. Um, you know, there's big challenges here for these young boys, even at the young age that they are, uh, to succeed and, and, and make it as a, a professional footballer. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tough um, a career path and a career path that, you know, mentally you've got to be strong. Um, you know, there's, 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 you know, you can be talented, but mentally you, you have to be strong as well to, to have the ups and downs in it. And, um, you know, them, that kind of side, if I can give them that um, from my experience in the game, then hopefully it will stand them in good stead for the for the season ahead. But first and foremost, I'm looking forward to meeting them, looking forward to um, seeing them perform and uh, looking forward to uh, helping them in any way I can, in any little tips I can give them uh, from an early age. What kind of a coach do you expect yourself to be? Because, I mean, those of us who spoke to you know you're a nice guy, but those of us who watch you on a football field know that you can uh, you can have that bit of hair dryer in you, in you as well from time to time. Yeah, and, and, uh, and ultimately I, th I think um, that's needed, really. I think, um, you know, when we're off the field and we're not, we're not working, then, um, you know, uh, I'm an approachable man. Um, no problem at all. Uh, I'll help anybody out in any anybody out in any which way I can. But when we're on the pitch, it's time to work. You know, when the games come on a Saturday afternoon or morning, it's time to work. And I'm a firm believer in that uh, because ultimately that's what we're paid to do. That's a job in hand, really. And um, and I'll go with that same uh, mentality and that same ethos, really. Uh, away from football, fine. But when when we're on the pitch, we're uh, we're ready to work. We work. And, uh, and I'll be taking that and bringing that to the boys and that, you know, but, um, you know, I'll be fair and square with them um, like, like I've always been uh, throughout my career and that, but ultimately it's just to build that relationship with them and, and they'll understand me as a, as a, as a man and, a, and as a person and, and likewise I'll get to understand them.